So before we really get into this review, I totally forgot I recorded everything, and I never really gave my thoughts on what Michonne meant to me personally throughout the years. I remember when she was first introduced to the show. At this point, I didn't know... I don't even think I knew that the show was based off a comic, to be honest. I was just kind of a casual fan. I wasn't like a hardcore fan like I am right now. And when she was introduced, it was such a... I remember being very annoyed in the beginning because she had Andrea, you know, and I wanted Andrea to be with our characters because she got separated from the group. And then Andrea was with her the entire time. And I was like, oh, this is really annoying. I want them to come back to the prison. I want Andrea to be back with our group. And it just never really happened. I guess once it did happen before Andrea died. But I would say throughout season three and four, Michonne really grew on me. I thought she was a badass the moment, you know, she's she was on screen. Like immediately, I knew this was a really interesting character and I just wanted to see more from her. And I just can't believe how much she's grown over the years when you really look at everything and how much she's been through i mean she was essentially daryl in the beginning right she was alone and she was just really great with that katana she just killed zombies and she just roamed the earth literally but she actually found someone she found rick she found carl she found judith and then obviously rj like she found a family you saw how much she grew as a person throughout the years and i just I, I can't believe this is her end already this was her final episode i remember when she first came on the show and we're already at this point now it's really sad but yeah i just want to give kind of a quick few thoughts here because i totally forgot to add that in the video i'm gonna miss you michonne i yeah i can't really say more than that because i don't want to get into spoilers roll the intro Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So this is my review for Michonne's final episode of The Walking Dead, I guess the television series. I'm not going to get into it any more than that because I don't want to get into spoilers for people who haven't watched it yet, which I guess I should warn you that this will contain spoilers for tonight's episode. So if you haven't watched that and you don't want to be spoiled of what happens to Michonne and just all of that, make sure you don't watch this video and maybe go, yeah, definitely go watch the episode soon because I'm sure spoilers, all of that are going to be out there. But this review is definitely going to be very hard to do because a lot of things happened in tonight's episode that I really want to talk about more in depth but if I did it would be like an hour long right like if it had a live stream talking about certain moments throughout the episode and really gave my thoughts on it and just talked about it with you guys and all that that probably would do as well in terms of trying to keep it within 10 minutes or whatever I have to kind of skim through a lot of things get my thoughts on it very quick overall tonight's episode I thought was just I think it's a masterpiece I think they did a really good job with this episode they did an excellent job with Michonne's goodbye and I'm sad to see the character go it didn't really hit me until like the last 10 minutes I would say like personally I never really found it that sad throughout the entire episode I would say like yeah it was like until like the last 10 minutes of the episode 10-15 minutes around there I started to realize I was like we're never going to see this character on the show again like this is actually super sad like you get so invested I think or at least I was so invested in the Rick Grimes movie stuff, you know, into how that can all work out. And I will be doing a video on that later on because I expect an announcement coming very soon. I'll talk about that in a second. But I was so focused on that that I never really got to focus on like what Michonne meant to me and how much she has contributed to The Walking Dead because she's been a big, like a massive part of this show and has been inspirational for a lot of people. You know, this was her goodbye. And I think that her final scene, the way she walked off, the music in that scene, it was, I just can't believe it. I, I really, honestly, I, I've watched that scene millions of times already. Well, not millions of times, but a lot of times. I just, yeah, I don't know. Let's just get into my review. Actually, first, before we do that, I do have to let you know that I will have my trailer breakdown coming out very soon for episode 14. Likely within the hour or so, we got some Alpha Death Aftermath and then Daryl finding Negan. Some really exciting stuff, so expect that video then. Also, Gimple is going to be on Talking Dead tonight. He's probably on right now. So I'm expecting an announcement coming very soon on the Rick Grimes movies, whether or not, you know, or when it's going to be coming out. Potentially, anyways. I don't think we're going to get a title or anything, but we could get an update on when they're going to film. I think mostly they're going to focus on Michonne and the fact that she's going to be in this first movie. I think they could announce that. I hope that's not the only thing. Whatever he announces, whatever stuff they do talk about with this Rick movie, because that's why he's there. I, I imagine they will talk about 
with the Rick movie. Like they kind of have to, especially with that ending. I'm going to do a video on all of that. So expect that coming out later on tonight. So we're, you're going to be getting three videos today, but it is a pretty big night. So let's talk about tonight's episode. So a lot of great moments, like I said, a lot of references to past Walking Dead episodes. I think one of my favorites was the Andrea scene, just because there was a lot to do with if she never saved Andrea there, Andrea would have died. Michonne wouldn't have found the prison or I guess the governor. A lot of things wouldn't have happened there. And it's just it's pretty crazy to think how crucial that moment was for Michonne's life. There was a lot of what if moments in tonight's episode. And the reason it was all happening was I would say it was interesting. <laughs> I don't really understand it personally the choice to do the hallucinations in that way just because she was drugged like I guess they wanted to do something different because with Rick obviously he was wounded like severely wounded and so he kept passing out all the time and then he would have these little dreams or whatever he would see past characters like Herschel Sasha Shane and stuff so they wanted to do something different here with Michonne and she was drugged here in the cell she was tripping a lot and so she just saw herself in these weird scenarios, like where she was on the other side against Rick. What I did like was the revelation that Michonne does blame herself for Rick, Carl, and Sadiq's death. I guess it's an easy prediction if you know the character, but it is sometimes hard to tell because the character is really strong. You kind of just forget about stuff like that, right? Like you just kind of move on with the story. But she feels guilty for not being there to protect Sadiq, or, or I guess for not saving Carl, or for doing something different with Rick. I, I guess just in general. She wishes she was in a better position to help them and regrets that, you know, maybe if she was closer to Rick or maybe if she did this differently, she would have been there to save him. Stuff like that. You know, really powerful moment, I think. Now, there was a lot of flashbacks. Obviously, the first one was with Andrea, then a call back to Daryl, not stopping from a show on the road. She was the hitchhiker this time, which is a scary thought. But also, when you get into what if scenarios like that, it really does put into perspective what doing something like that really is. Like, yeah, to us, that person is Michonne, you know, but she is just another human being who has value and who can bring happiness to people. And I think it just proves that in this apocalypse, everyone is a villain. You're really just selfish and you're trying to survive and will do anything to survive. I mean, if it means ignoring someone in need, so be it. You know, as long as I get to live another day sort of thing. So we didn't really think about it too much when the hitchhiker was this random person. But when it was Michonne, boy, that made us think. Also, Michonne became a savior. That was a lot of fun to see her on the other side during that. Because they ignored her on the road, at least I'm assuming that they're following like that story thread or whatever, she found Negan and joined the Saviors. She actually Lucille herself. I think that scene was a lot of fun. The special effects I thought in tonight's episode were also really amazing. This show gets a lot of shit sometimes for like their deer CGI and stuff like that, but I thought tonight's episode they handled everything really well. Though I will say the Michonne and Rick scene was the only thing that was a little weird. Like just this shot here of Michonne and Rick, that was a little weird. Still really cool, but it just looked a little off. I know Rick wasn't actually looking at Negan anyways. He was kind of looking around him, but it maybe it's because I already know the scene. It, it just, I don't know, it was a little off, but that was the only scene. It was still super cool because this could have happened in an alternate reality. You know, Michonne, instead of being someone who loved them, fought for them, and led them, instead in this reality, killed them basically, right? It was just a lot of fun seeing all of this stuff here. I really had a fun time with this episode. Actually, the Daryl killing Michonne scene was pretty trippy. Actually, technically it was Rick that killed Michonne. I guess Daryl just shot her or whatever, but yeah, that was a big like holy shit moment. Now, all of this started because of Virgil, and I'm not going to focus on him too much here because the point of tonight is about Michonne, right? But it did factor in because he lied about the weapons and he got Michonne there to handle some of the people that he was keeping in that room. I mean, all of that I find a little weird. Really, all I care about with it, though, is that because of Virgil, Michonne found out Rick's alive. I really feel like Virgil in general is a forgettable character. I thought the actor was really great. I thought the performance was done really well. It's just he didn't really bring much to anything. He, I think he made Michonne realize some stuff, but it was really the point of it was for Michonne to find out that Rick was alive. And so we got all of that. He even stood on the island afterwards. Like, maybe he'll be in the Rick movies at some point, but I don't really see it. I think that was just kind of the point of it. And that was the big reveal tonight. I'm so happy that that actually happened. Like Michonne actually found out 
that Rick was alive. I've been saying that for like a year now. It's the only way that it can happen. It's literally the only way Michonne can leave the show. She wouldn't leave her kids. She just wouldn't. And if you kill her off, she's never going to find out that Rick survived. Like you're kind of forced to do this storyline. And I love the moment when she found out that, or she guess she found his boots, right? She was about to leave and she was gathering her stuff. And then she came across Rick's boots and she just freaked out. She was like, where'd you get these? Because she hasn't seen those in forever. And then Virgil led her out to this boat that washed ashore, and she finds this cell phone with a picture of her and Judas scratched on the screen. On top of the picture, we also saw that he scratched his name, which confirms that Rick at some point was on this boat. How did he get on this boat? Did he go on the boat sometime before he died? No, obviously not. Michonne would know, right? Like, Rick was always around. So this had to have happened afterwards. This is why they couldn't find a body. Rick never died. So Michonne freaks out after all of this and it just everything makes sense to her you know she has to find him now and i just i love this scene because it's so insane to think that rick was on this boat and this could be something that we see in the very opening minutes of the rick grimes movie and i am going to talk about that later on because i think we got a lot of stuff that i think we know what the first five ten minutes roughly are going to be of the rick movie it's going to be everything that we've already know happens after rick dies but we just haven't seen yet so rick's going to end up on a boat somewhere and he's going to be sitting here on this chair or something like that he's going to scratch this in there I, i'm not exactly sure of obviously where he would have been and all that but we can see the setup now we can see what he's been doing for the last however many years it's possible this boat washed up here you know years ago because it has been six years almost seven years when you add up all the months and the time between like the whisper pike moment the time between season nine and ten and all that it's almost been seven years so it's been quite a while now the michonne and judah scene i mean well i don't like what can i say about that you know that it was hard to watch Michonne's final scene with her daughter i'm sure at some point there's going to be a reunion but for that final scene now, I, I do wish that they were together, but I kind of get it. It would make no sense story-wise to have her over there, to have her travel back that fast. It, it would feel way too rushed. And I, I said that when I found out that there was only going to be one more episode with Michonne. And I was like, wait, what? She has to go all the way over there, do something there, and then come back and say goodbye all within one episode? That's way too much. But the walkie-talkie goodbye, I mean, that works. I thought that Judith handled it really well. It is hard to predict how kids are going to react to moments like that. Mostly, I think it's Rick's reaction to seeing Judith. That's what I want to see. And maybe it's because I relate more with Rick than Judith, but I, I just, I feel like Rick seeing his daughter for the first time in like six plus years. I mean, Judith is like a different human being right now, right? To when she was three or four. She's really growing up a lot. So when that reunion does happen, man, is it ever going to be hard to watch. It's going to be a very beautiful moment. Everyone's going to be crying. First, though, before that, we're going to get the Rick and Michonne reunion, which is going to be really interesting. And that was the big setup at the very end. We see Michonne. She's going to go find Rick now. That's really her goal. And luckily she found, I do think that is the CRM. I'm going to do a video on the CRM because we learned some stuff in a scene from World Beyond. CRM means Civic Republic Military. And when you see shots like this, it looks military based. Everyone's in formation. And then around that group of people, there's guards around them or something like that. And they're just all in formation like that. That, that has to be the CRM. There's no way that's Commonwealth. That's going to be totally different. That's going to be something the show deals with later on. That is the CRM. It's very possible that Rick was there even recently, or Rick has connections to what is going on in that scene. I thought the score in this scene, it being Rick's bridge score or whatever, I thought that was a really amazing touch to the final moments here. Overall, I think this episode will stand the test of time. Like It was beautifully written, and it set up Michonne's next journey. I didn't really see the episode as an end, really. This really felt like Rick Grimes' movie stuff. The move, This episode felt cinematic to me, and maybe that could be a con for some people, you know, because you want them to focus more on Michonne and not just, you know, focusing on her finding out that Rick's alive. I, I still think they did both, because, you know, this isn't her goodbye. She's not dying yet. There's going to be a whole other story for her. So this isn't that moment yet. I think when she's actually going to be written off or die or whatever, they'll do more of a, a Michonne-centric episode or, I guess, movie or whatever, right? Her ending was about helping people, which is how she was introduced, essentially, right? Someone took a chance to help her, and that person ended up being the love of her life. Now her story is ending in connection 
to Rick's, the final score being the final score that Rick had in his episode. Actually, technically his was space junk, but you get what I mean. It was just a nice conclusion. I'm going to miss this character very much, and I really can't wait to see her in the Rick movies, and I just, yeah, I can't wait to talk about that. I'll be doing a video later on tonight talking about the Rick movies and any announcements we do get from Gimple tonight. So in the meantime, just focusing on this episode, I mean, I would rate this episode a billion out of 10. <laughs> it was just an amazing episode. Post all your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys all thought. How did you think they handled Michelle's final episode? Remember to check out my trailer breakdown coming out very soon, and I'll see you guys all then.